Hey guys, Dominic here at Redleaf Exotics and we are back with a spotlight video. Today I wanted to share with you a really cool looking species, Nepenthes platykyla. This species is definitely one of the most unique and charming in the genius and it was only recently discovered in 2001, so not that long ago. It's endemic to the island of Borneo and you can find them growing in Sarawak in the Hose Mountains between 900 and 1400 meters above sea level. So these plants actually love growing a little warmer. They're more of an intermediate grower. One of the most remarkable things about this species is the transformation it undergoes from the lower pitchers to the upper pitchers. Before vining, the plant produces a rosette of lower pitchers that are anywhere from four to six inches tall, and they are really attractive. They're more green and yellow, and they're heavily streaked in burgundy with a beautifully striped peristome. The upper pitchers are really dramatic. They're funnel-shaped, and the peristome is almost circular and very flat and flared. Platykyla actually is derived from a Greek word, which means flat-lipped. So that's how the plant gets its name. And you could see they're so heavily striped and just so fascinating to look at. There are quite a few different clones in cultivation, some of them more dramatic than others. This one here is my favorite in the greenhouse, and this one's from Exotica Plants. It's seed grown and Jeff has it labeled as his best male, and I could certainly see why the uppers on this thing are just so spectacular. Like most of the Nepenthes in the greenhouse, I have this one potted up in 6040 long fiber sphagnum and perlite, and it absolutely loves that, and I do let it get more on the dry side before watering again. The pot does get pretty light. As I mentioned earlier, these plants are more of an intermediate grower. They love spring, summer, and fall. They actually grow pretty good in winter too, as long as the nights aren't going too low into the 50s. I keep this plant roughly around 57 degrees minimum at night, and it just doesn't give me any troubles. They are really easy, almost like a Nepenthes hybrid. Nepenthes platykyla definitely remains one of the most striking species in the genus, and it's fairly easy to grow. If you guys love this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for more Nepenthes juice.